Sir Isaac Newton revolutionized our understanding of the universe. He gave us the laws of motion and gravity, laying the foundation for classical mechanics. We remember him for his scientific genius and groundbreaking discoveries. But Newton was also a man of deep religious conviction, a side of him less known to the public. He spent years studying the Bible, dedicating as much time to it as he did to his scientific pursuits. Newton saw a hidden language within its pages, believing it held divine secrets. He believed he could unlock the secrets of the future and uncover divine truths. Newton's religious studies were not widely known during his lifetime, kept in the shadows. He kept them separate from his scientific work, perhaps to avoid controversy. Perhaps he feared ridicule from his peers or the potential damage to his scientific reputation. Maybe he wanted to protect his reputation and avoid any professional backlash. Whatever the reason, this hidden side of Newton adds another layer to his complex legacy, showing his multifaceted mind. Newton's fascination with biblical prophecy might seem at odds with his scientific mind, but it was a significant part of his life. But for him, science and religion were not in conflict. They complemented each other. He saw them as two sides of the same coin, both essential to understanding the world. Both sought to understand the universe and humanity's place within it, offering different perspectives. Newton's journey into biblical prophecy led him down a path few could have predicted, blending science and faith. It culminated in a startling prediction that would echo through the centuries, a prediction that placed the year 2060 firmly in the spotlight, intriguing scholars and enthusiasts alike. In 1704, a letter written by Isaac Newton surfaced, containing a shocking prediction. The world would end in 2060. This letter, passed down through private hands, ignited controversy and debate. It offered a glimpse into the mind of a genius wrestling with faith and the future. Newton's prediction wasn't a casual remark. It stemmed from years of meticulous study. He immersed himself in biblical texts, particularly the Book of Daniel. He believed these ancient scriptures held a timeline for human history. Newton's prediction, while rooted in his religious beliefs, sent ripples through the scientific community. It challenged the very foundations of reason and observation that he championed. It raised questions about the intersection of faith and science, sparking debate that continues to this day. The year 2060, once a distant point in the future, suddenly felt close. It became a ticking clock, a reminder of the fragility of our existence. To understand Newton's prediction, we must delve into his methodology. It wasn't based on mystical visions or divine pronouncements. Instead, he employed a surprisingly systematic approach, combining biblical interpretation with mathematical calculations. One key element was his focus on the year 800 AD. This year marked the rise of the Holy Roman Empire under Charlemagne. Newton saw this event as significant, aligning it with prophecies in the book of Daniel about a time, times, and half a time. Newton interpreted this phrase to represent 1,260 years, a number with symbolic weight in biblical numerology. Adding 1,260 to 800 AD led him to the year 2060. This date, he believed, would mark a turning point in human history. His calculations didn't stop there. He incorporated other biblical passages, historical events, and astronomical phenomena into his calculations. His notes reveal a complex web of connections and interpretations. To grasp the full significance of 800 AD in Newton's intricate calculations, we must journey back to the very heart of medieval Europe, a time of profound transformation and upheaval. The year marked a pivotal moment in history, a turning point that would echo through the centuries. Charlemagne, a powerful and visionary king, united much of Western Europe under his rule forging a new era of stability and growth. He was crowned Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope in Rome, a momentous event that symbolized the fusion of religious and political power. Newton viewed this event as the beginning of a prophesied time of the Gentiles, a period foretold in ancient texts. He believed this period would last for a predetermined duration, ultimately culminating in a major shift in world order, a transformation that would reshape the future. The year 800 AD resonated deeply with Newton not just as a historical marker, but as a symbolic representation of power, religion, and the ebb and flow of empires, a nexus of change. He saw it as a key that unlocked the secrets of the future, a crucial piece in the puzzle of time. To him, history wasn't merely a linear progression of events, 
but a complex interplay of forces and destinies. It was a cyclical tapestry woven with intricate patterns and prophecies, each thread holding a deeper meaning. His calculations weren't just about predicting a specific date, they were about decoding the grand design of the universe, understanding the divine architecture of time itself. Section 5. A Scientist's Caution. The Uncertainty of Prophecy. Despite his bold prediction, Newton remained cautious about setting a definitive date for the end of the world. He acknowledged the complexities of prophecy and the limitations of human understanding. He emphasized that his calculations were open to interpretation. In his writings, he warned against dogmatic pronouncements. He stressed that God's plan remained ultimately unknowable. He viewed prophecy as a guide, not a rigid blueprint. Newton, the father of classical physics, understood the importance of uncertainty. He knew that even the most meticulous calculations couldn't fully encompass the vastness of the cosmos or the mysteries of divine providence. His caution serves as a reminder that even the most brilliant minds must approach matters of faith and prophecy with humility and an awareness of the limits of human knowledge. Section 6. Transformation, Not Annihilation – Newton's Vision of the Future It's crucial to understand that Newton didn't necessarily foresee a cataclysmic end to the world in 2060. He believed in a transformative event, a fundamental shift in the world order. He envisioned the return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of a divine kingdom on earth. He saw this event as a new beginning, not an absolute end. It represented the culmination of history, the fulfillment of biblical prophecies, and the dawn of a more just and righteous era. Newton's vision was shaped by his religious beliefs and the turbulent times he lived in. He witnessed wars, plagues, and religious persecution. His prediction, while rooted in faith, can also be interpreted as a yearning for a better world. His focus wasn't on destruction, but on renewal. He believed in the power of divine intervention to reshape the world, to usher in an era of peace and harmony. Section 7. The Enduring Legacy, Newton's Prophecy in the 21st Century Centuries after Newton penned his prediction, the year 2060 continues to intrigue and provoke. His prediction still sparks debate among theologians, historians, and scientists. Some dismiss it as the musings of a brilliant mind straying beyond its domain. Others see it as a reminder of the enduring power of faith and the human desire to understand the future. Regardless of one's beliefs, Newton's prediction serves as a reminder of the enduring power of ideas. It highlights the complex interplay between science, religion, and the human quest to make sense of our place in the cosmos. As we venture further into the 21st century, the year 2060 looms on the horizon. It stands as a symbolic marker, a reminder of the unknown future that awaits us. Section 8 separating the man from the myth understanding Newton's beliefs. It's tempting to view Newton's prediction in isolation, as a strange anomaly in the life of a scientific genius. But to truly understand its significance, we must place it within the context of his broader beliefs and the times he lived in. Newton was a man of deep faith, immersed in a world where religion played a central role in every aspect of life. His scientific pursuits weren't separate from his religious beliefs, they were intertwined. His belief in a divinely ordered universe, governed by laws accessible to human reason, fueled his scientific inquiries. His religious studies, though less known, were equally important to him. Newton's prediction wasn't just a random prediction, it was the culmination of years of dedicated study, a testament to his belief in the interconnectedness of the spiritual and material world. Section 9. A Universe of Wonder, The Enduring Power of Curiosity as we ponder Newton's prediction and the mysteries of the universe, we are reminded of the enduring power of human curiosity, a force that has driven our species forward through the ages. It's this insatiable thirst for knowledge that drives us to explore, to question, and to seek answers to the universe's most perplexing riddles, pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. Whether we stand on the precipice of scientific breakthroughs or delve into the depths of ancient texts, the spirit of inquiry unites us, transcending time and space. It's what propels us beyond the boundaries of the known and into the uncharted territories of knowledge, where every discovery leads to new questions and deeper understanding. 
Newton's legacy extends far beyond his scientific achievements and his controversial prediction, encompassing his relentless pursuit of knowledge and his innovative thinking. It lies in his unwavering belief in the power of the human mind to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and to grapple with the big questions that have captivated humanity for millennia, inspiring generations of thinkers and dreamers. As we journey further into the 21st century, let us carry with us Newton's spirit of curiosity, his unwavering pursuit of truth, and his belief in the power of human ingenuity to shape our destiny, forging a path toward a brighter future. For it is in the pursuit of knowledge, in the relentless questioning of the unknown, that we truly honor the legacy of this remarkable individual, ensuring that the flame of curiosity continues to burn bright.